Welcome to Aging Together, a podcast dedicated to exploring the challenges and opportunities of caring for our aging loved ones. This podcast is a product of Caregiver Consulting and Healthy Solutions, a private consulting practice dedicated to helping you navigate the aging process with ease. Together, we will dive into a wide range of topics, including health and wellness, financial planning, caregiving, and more. This podcast is for everyone, whether you are an older adult looking to age in place, a caregiver seeking support and guidance, a young or middle-aged adult planning for the future, or simply someone interested in learning more about the aging process. I hope you'll join me on this journey. Let's navigate aging together. What's up, everyone? I'm your host, Pooja, and you're listening to Aging Together. This week, we are continuing with Save Your Vision Month. In today's episode, I'm taking a dive into how occupational therapy plays a role in vision and aging. Occupational therapists can play an important role in helping individuals with visual impairments to maintain their independence and achieve their goals. Here are some ways that OTs can help. First up, vision rehab. Vision rehab is a type of therapy that focuses on improving the functional abilities of individuals with visual impairments. The goal of vision rehab is to help individuals with visual impairments to develop the skills and strategies needed to perform daily activities such as self-care, household tasks, work, and leisure activities. Vision rehab is typically provided by occupational therapists who specialize in low vision or vision rehab. These therapists work with individuals with visual impairments to assess their functional abilities and identify areas where they may need support or training. Based on the assessment, the therapist develops an individualized treatment plan that may include the following. 1. Visual skills training. Visual skills training is a type of therapy that focuses on improving visual function. This may include exercises to improve eye coordination, visual tracking, and visual scanning. 2. Compensatory techniques. Compensatory techniques are strategies that individuals with visual impairments can use to overcome their visual deficits. For example, a therapist may teach an individual to use magnifying devices, such as a handheld magnifier or a magnifying glass, to read small print. 3. Adaptive strategies. Adaptive strategies are techniques that individuals with visual impairments can use to modify their environment or behavior to better accommodate their visual deficits. This may include modifying lighting, using color contrast, or using auditory cues to supplement visual information. 4. Orientation and Mobility Training Orientation and Mobility Training is a type of therapy that focuses on improving an individual's ability to move around their environment safely and efficiently. This may include learning how to use a cane, a guide dog, or how to navigate with the use of sound, or tactile cues. And five, counseling and support. Vision rehab may also include counseling and support to help individuals with visual impairments cope with the emotional and psychological impact of vision loss. Overall, vision rehab can help individuals with visual impairments to improve their functional abilities and quality of life by providing support, training, and resources to help them achieve their goals and maintain their independence. Next, assistive technology. Assistive technology for vision refers to devices or software that can help individuals with visual impairments to perform daily activities or access information. These devices may be low-tech, such as a magnifying glass or large print books, or high-tech, such as screen reading software or electronic magnifiers. Occupational therapists who specialize in low vision or vision rehab can help individuals with visual impairments to identify and use assistive technology devices that meet their specific needs. They can help individuals with visual impairments to identify and use assistive devices to support their independence and participation in daily activities. Here are some examples of assistive tech devices that may be recommended. 1. Electronic magnifiers. These are devices that use a camera and a high-resolution screen to magnify text or images. They may be handheld, mounted on stand, or integrated into a computer or mobile device. 2. Screen reading software. This is a software that converts text on a computer screen to speech or braille output. This can allow individuals with visual impairments to access information on a computer or on the internet. 3. Optical Character Recognition, or OCR, software. 
OCR software is software that can convert printed text to digital text that can be read by a computer. This can allow individuals with visual impairments to access printed materials such as books or documents. 4. Talking watches and clocks. Talking watches and clocks are devices that announce the time allowed. This can be helpful for individuals with visual impairments who may have difficulty reading traditional clocks or watches. And 5. Large print books and materials. These are books and documents that are printed with larger fonts or high contrast colors to make them easier to read. Overall, assistive technology for vision can help individuals with visual impairments to access information, perform daily activities, and maintain their independence. Occupational therapists who specialize in low vision or vision rehab can provide guidance on the use of assistive technology devices and can help individuals to select devices that are appropriate for their specific needs. Next, environmental modifications. Environmental modifications for vision refer to changes that can be made to an individual's environment to make it more accessible and functional for individuals with visual impairments. Occupational therapists can recommend modifications to the home or work environment to improve accessibility and safety for individuals with visual impairments. This may include adding lighting, contrasting colors, or tactile cues to help with orientation and mobility. These modifications can be especially helpful for individuals who have low vision or who are blind. Here are some examples of environmental modifications that may be recommended by an occupational therapist who specializes in low vision or vision rehab. 1. Lighting modifications. Lighting modifications may include increasing the amount of lighting in a room, using task lighting to direct light where it's needed, or adding light fixtures with high contrast bulbs to improve visual contrast. 2. Color contrast modifications. Color contrast modifications may include painting walls or furniture with high contrast colors or using high contrast tape or markers to highlight objects or surfaces. 3. Organization modifications. These may include developing a system for organizing items in a home or workplace to make them easier to locate and use. This may involve using labels, creating a consistent location for frequently used items, or using tactile cues to differentiate between objects. 4. Safety modifications. Safety modifications may include adding handrails or grab bars in bathrooms or other areas where falls may be a risk, marking the edges of stairs or other drop-offs with high contrast tape, or using slip-resistant flooring. And 5. Accessible technology modifications. Accessible technology modifications may include setting up a computer or other electronic device with assistive technology such as screen reading software or modifying the settings on a device to make it easier to use with low vision. Overall, environmental modifications for vision can help individuals with visual impairments to improve their functional abilities and maintain their independence. Occupational therapists who specialize in low vision or vision rehab can provide guidance on the use of environmental modifications and can help individuals to select modifications that are appropriate for their specific needs. Next, adaptive strategies. Adaptive strategies for vision refer to techniques or approaches that individuals with visual impairments can use to compensate for their vision loss and complete daily tasks. Occupational therapists can teach individuals with visual impairments adaptive strategies to help them perform daily activities, such as using touch, sound, or other senses to supplement visual information. These strategies can be especially helpful for individuals who have low vision or who are blind. Here are some examples of adaptive strategies that may be recommended by an occupational therapist who specializes in low vision or vision rehab. 1. Use of magnification devices. Individuals with low vision may benefit from using magnification devices, such as a magnifying glass or electronic magnifiers, to help them see printed materials, photographs, or other small items. 2. Use of auditory cues. Auditory cues, such as alarms, timers, or verbal reminders, can help individuals with visual impairments to keep track of time or complete tasks on schedule. 3. Use of tactile cues. Tactile cues, such as raised dots or lines, can help individuals with visual impairments to navigate their environment or locate important items, such as buttons on a microwave or stove. 4. Use of high contrast materials. Using high contrast materials, such as black on white or white on black text, can help individuals with low vision to see printed materials more clearly. 
And five, use of technology. Individuals with visual impairments may benefit from using technology, such as screen reading software or voice-activated assistance, to help them access information or complete tasks on a computer or mobile device. Overall, adaptive strategies for vision can help individuals with visual impairments to improve their functional abilities and maintain their independence. Occupational therapists who specialize in low vision or vision rehab can provide guidance on the use of adaptive strategies and can help individuals to develop strategies that are appropriate for their specific needs. Finally, coping strategies. Vision loss can be a challenging and distressing experience, and individuals may experience a range of emotions, including anxiety, depression, frustration, and fear. Occupational therapists can help individuals with visual impairments to develop coping strategies to manage the emotional and psychological impact of vision loss, such as anxiety or depression. Here are some coping strategies that may be recommended by a mental health professional or an occupational therapist who specializes in vision rehab. 1. Seek support. Talking to friends, family members, or a mental health professional can be helpful in managing the emotional impact of vision loss. Support groups for individuals with visual impairments can also be a valuable source of support and encouragement. 2. Practice relaxation techniques. Relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing, meditation, or yoga, can help individuals to manage stress and anxiety related to vision loss. 3. Focus on strengths. It can be helpful to focus on strengths and abilities rather than limitations. Identifying areas where an individual with visual impairments excels can help to build self-esteem and confidence. 4. Set achievable goals. Setting achievable goals can help individuals with visual impairments to feel a sense of accomplishment and control. Breaking larger tasks into smaller, more manageable steps can also be helpful. 5. Stay active and engaged. Staying active and engaged in activities that are enjoyable and meaningful can help individuals with visual impairments to maintain a sense of purpose and connection to others. And six, use positive self-talk. Using positive self-talk can help individuals to challenge negative thoughts and beliefs related to vision loss. Encouraging statements such as, I am capable, or I can adapt to my vision loss, can help to build resilience and optimism. Overall, coping strategies can be an important part of managing the emotional and psychological impact of vision loss. Occupational therapists who specialize in vision rehab can provide guidance on the use of coping strategies and can help individuals to develop coping strategies that are appropriate for their specific needs. Mental health professionals can also provide support and counseling to help individuals manage the emotional impact of vision loss. In conclusion, occupational therapists can help individuals with visual impairments to improve their quality of life by providing support, education, and resources to help them achieve their goals and maintain their independence. Tune in next week for a grand entrance into OT Month. At Caregiver Consulting and Healthy Solutions, we are dedicated to helping you navigate aging together. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.